Let me just give you a list of the benefits Ooh. of building resilience. And the, these are but a mere few. Lower stress. Mm. Okay, we already talked about better judgment. Yeah. Right? Yep. Being better equipped to deal with VUCA, which we'll talk about, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity, being better able to deal with those. This gift of the opportunity to be a non-anxious presence yep. in the face of a world of anxiety, higher productivity in your own personal world, your own ability as a business leader to work and get stuff done is increased when you have a good <laughs> reservoir of resilience. Easy for you to say. I know, it was easy. It's modeling for your team. So yeah. as you're leading your team, what does it look like to lead well and to have that resilience so that you are leading them well so that they are leading whoever reports to them well and so on and so forth. Water runs downhill and your example is caught by your employees. Exactly. It's very critical. And then there's some basic things like being able to sleep at night. I don't know. That's kind of a good thing. Having more joy in what you're doing. Yeah. Experiencing some of those really great things like peace and patience and hope and better morale, all of those things. These are all benefits to building resilience as a business leader. Yep. And so we just want to encourage you that this series, this topic of really moving towards becoming more resilient, building back up those reserves if they've been depleted, and being able to help others in that as you understand more and can articulate with more clarity kind of what is coming against us and how to fight it, those are just going to be just a handful of the benefits, I think, of this series. So we just want to invite you to really stick with us through this and we think you're going to learn some stuff.